Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSPFR Police Academy tutorial. Today ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be showing you how to install basic parking enforcement. Uh, this is a mod that goes into your game and allows you to be a um, traffic cop, I guess you would say. Well, not a traffic police officer, but you walk around, you give tickets to illegally parked vehicles, have them towed, that sort of thing. With that being said, let's go ahead and get on with this and click the link in the description below. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is made by Thrust. Uh, Thrust, we appreciate your time and contribution to the LSP of our community, man. <coughs> As I really, really do love this mod, I'm a huge fan of this mod and how it works. And I'm going to be taking you guys in the game to show you how it works, okay? So, what you want to do is you want to click download the file, agree and download. And it will now start downloading, guys. Once you get it downloaded, put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. I do recommend your desktop. Now, if you've been following my police comment tutorials, you should know how to access your main directory through your file explorer by right-clicking and clicking on the one that says Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? We are on the Steam version of GT5. Um, Epic users, you can follow right along, okay? With your, with your main, because this is all going to the main directory. Just follow along with your main directory, all right? So, uh, open up your basic parking enforcement window, guys. Double click on that folder. Double click on the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder inside the WinRAR. And then you just want to grab this plugins folder right here inside your WinRAR and you want to pull it over to your main directory. And you just want to drop it in like that, okay? And then close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. Now go over to your main directory and let's navigate to plugins and LSPFR. You will see a basic parking enforcement folder up here. That's fine, we don't need that. Just leave that alone. <laughs> You want the basic parking enforcement INI file right here, okay? Let's open that up. Now, the only thing I recommend changing in here is this general menu key because when you're standing beside a car, every time you hit that Q to pull up that other menu, you're going to take cover. You're going you're gonna to take cover to the car immediately, okay? So what I do recommend changing this to is something like S. You know, because S just makes you walk backwards, and all you have to do is literally tap the key, and your guy's gonna not even hardly move, okay? But whatever you change it to, make sure it's a letter and make sure it is capital, okay? Make sure it's a capital letter. Uh, once you've got that done, guys, go ahead and click File and click Save, all right? Close out of that, and go back to your main game directory, refresh it, and I'm gonna take you guys in the game and show you exactly how this mod works. So I will see you all inside. Of LSPFR. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I figured this van right here would be a perfect example of how this mod works. Um, as they are parked up on the curb, which is, um, you know, highly, highly illegal. Uh, so, and it's a Weasel News van. Imagine that. It's a Weasel News van. So, what you would do is if you want to ticket a vehicle like this, or maybe somebody that's parked in a red zone, um, and what we know is the red zones are these right here. So, if you've got cars that are parked in the red zones, and they don't have to have their entire car parked in the red zone for it to be illegal. As a matter of fact, if this guy right here, if just his tire or his bumper is in the red zone, he has violated a parking lot. He has violated a parking law, okay? Because they cannot be anywhere into that red zone. These red zones are strictly for fire trucks and emergency services vehicles, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, we're gonna write him a ticket for being on the sidewalk, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk up to the vehicle and you're gonna hit that F5 key, okay? The F5, well, let's do this first. Let's hit the S key, the S key. And what this does, it allows you to edit your zones. So you're on Hallwick Avenue, you can change the zone status by clicking on change zone status, where it says no ticket required here. I always leave it to ticket required here. I, I barely ever use this menu, guys. All right, so that's what that's for. Let's exit out of that. Um, you can also, in that menu, you can also check tickets given out this shift. It will tell you how many tickets you've given out on your shift, okay? Let's exit back out and hit the F5 key. Now, we are going to check if the vehicle has a valid parking ticket. Let's go ahead and click that. Right there at the bottom, it tells us that the, the ticket expires at 3101, 2022 at 11, 1131. Its ticket is valid. Uh, for two hours and 31 minutes. So where he is parked at is valid for two hours, okay? 
So that means that once his time is up, you come back and he's still here, you can cite him for it. Now, we are going to go ahead and cite him being the fact he's parked up on the sidewalk. He, and, and, uh, and, and he's just parked too close to the sidewalk in general and he's parked crooked. So now we want to radio over to dispatch to get a vehicle check, okay? Now, we got to have South the Ped for that. So just keep in mind, we will be installing South the Ped in these police county controls. Once we do, you can do a vehicle check that way. Now, creating a ticket or par let's go to parking defense history. Let's go there. This tells you every ticket the vehicle has ever had and whether it's not paid or whether it is paid and what it's for and how much it is, okay? So, for example, uh, his ticket uh, nine, number 9702 is for $70 and this ticket is paid uh, it was issued on um, February 27th of 2017 at 7.09 p.m. and it's it's been paid of course I would hope so um, total was $70 his offenses were prohibited zones and parked in a tow away his, his offense was prohibited zones he got cited for being parked in a tow away zone okay so that's kind of what that part of that is for right there um, I have a I have a thing to where if they have one or more unpaid parking tickets, I have them towed. No doubt, no question about it. So if this guy's got one unpaid parking ticket, he's done. He's done. So now let's go back to the other menu. And down here, you really can't do anything with the bottom two options there. You can't do anything with that. Now let's go to create ticket, okay? So we wanna we wanna create him a ticket because he is parked on the sidewalk. So what we wanna do is we wanna to go to, I believe this is under violation of distances. Um, so you could put like right here, you could put, um, well, we can't do that. You can put parked within 20 foot of a crosswalk because this is, um, let's see, 20 foot of a crosswalk. Yeah, I would do, I would do 20 foot of a crosswalk for this one. Uh, and then you can go to you can go to prohibited zones and you're gonna go down to um, where it is parked on a sidewalk at. You can do you can also do mo no parking anytime because this is a no parking anytime zone. Especially when you're on the sidewalk, you can't park there at any time at all. So you can do that one. Uh, you can also do parked in a towaway zone because this is an automatic tow right here for me. Um, and by law, if you're parked on the sidewalk, police officers can have your vehicle towed anyway. So it's not just my opinion, it's law. Um, they have uh, parked in a school zone, parked on a handicapped space. Uh, there's, there's several things here that you can do. Um, I'm still trying to find the, um, still trying to find, I know there's one that's parked on a sidewalk. Maybe it was changed. Um, let me see here. Is it not under prohibited zones? Where is this? That I know I've seen this a hundred times. Uh, am I just looking over it? Is that what it is? Because sometimes I do that. I'm really bad about that. Uh, and here's his ticket violations right here. Ticket violations uh, that you can mark. Um, so you can mark him for having an expired ticket or ticket expired under three hours. Um, I don't see anything about parked on the sidewalk surprisingly i guess they took that feature out so uh, it is what it is they got one for parked on lawn uh, here it is right here guys um uh blocking or parked on sidewalk so that is under blocking um there's also uh you could also get him for double parking as he is on the sidewalk and the road um park large vehicle in residential area blocking emergency vehicles uh, now, blocking emergency vehicles. Now, if his bumper, just the just the sheer front of his bumper was in this part of the red zone, or even right here because this is part of the red zone, as you can see, it's red on the sidewalk. You can get in for blocking emergency vehicles or parked in a in a, in a reserved area. Okay, but that's just kind of how this plugin works. Once you're done getting your tickets checked, guys, your boxes, you would click submit. Your officer is now going to write a ticket. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And now me, personally, I would have him towed. If we had stopped the pet installed, I would have him towed. I don't think I can do it, but I'm going to try it. Dispatch, send me a tow truck. I'm pretty sure we got to have stopped the pet for that. Yeah, 
We gotta have stout the pit for that. Or rest manager. Don't ever install rest manager, guys. Don't install rest manager. That is way outdated. But that is pretty much how the plugin works right there, guys. There's not much else to it. Everything else you guys can go through and kind of get the gist of how it works. Uh, but that is going to do it for this tutorial, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you know exactly when I post new content when I go live. For those who don't know, if you want to get your hands on some awesome giant software and help support my second channel, CJ Farms, click the links in the description below with the blue diamonds beside it as I will have them down there. Um, and help support the channel, man. And get your hands on some awesome, awesome giant software gear. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out. Get that car moving, man. Get it moving. What y'all screaming about? Get out of here. Get going. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Where they at? Come on, let's do it.